Tito is a sorghum-based grain alcohol. It's from China. It's the number one consumed liquor in the world by volume. In 2012, Baiju sold 17 million liters worldwide. Vodka, its closest global competitor, sold 10. So our distillery is 200 years old. The distilling tradition of making Baijiu is a thousand years old. We brought Baijiu, this brand specifically, to the U.S. about six months ago, and we're introducing it to the U.S. consumer base in an alcohol percentage of 43% alcohol by volume. We have this variety, which is our Guatai Legend, and we also have our Premium Light, which is 18% alcohol by volume. So what are we tasting now? You have a concoction for us? So we do. Today I have made our Dragon Cool, which is a drink that was crafted by a mixologist and featured out at the WSWA in Las Vegas in April. It features pineapple, lime, simple syrup, and club soda. And we usually garnish it with rosemary served in a highball glass. Would you like to try? <laughs> Why not? Sure. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I love the bottle. I just wanted to mention that, you know, that it's, I've never seen tops that look exactly like that. So That bottle was designed specifically for the U.S. consumer base by my boss. He thought that it really helped highlight that this is something exotic, it's foreign, it's different. Baijiu is not really understood here in the U.S. yet. It's a completely new liquor category for most consumers. It's like saying vodka, it's like saying rum or tequila. Baijiu is a whole other world. There are thousands and thousands of different varieties of Baijiu. I think last time there was a count done in China, there's about 10,000 different distilleries making Baijiu. Ours is from a town called Maotai, which is famous because that's where the premier of China, Zhao Enlai, back when China was run under Chairman his favorite brand of Baijiu came from Mao Tai. So what would I taste? I cannot, there's an aroma here. That is pretty yes. So that's the sorghum. Sorghum is a red wheat berry. It's one of the top five cereal grains in the world. Mm -hmm. And so sorghum is what kind of provides that upfront smell. We call it a little bit of funk. And then the finish is very sweet. That also comes from the sorghum. And so it kind of tastes a little bit like chocolate, a little bit like berries. I noticed that too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, some people get licorice, butterscotch, and raisins. Mm -hmm. Yes, I all definitely, of that. Definitely, definitely sweet. Mm. I'll tell you what though. What I really is. It's multifaceted, like you said. Yes, it's mm. got a lot of different varieties. In China, there's a saying that it's 300 shots to greatness. So, what they say is that the more you drink by Joe, the more you appreciate by Joe. It's not a one and done deal. You don't try it for the first time and necessarily love it, but as you drink it, you begin to understand the depths of the by Joe, all the flavor notes. Mm -hmm. So, we do really recommend that you stick with by Joe and you keep coming back to it. Okay. Well, that makes sense from a consumer's point of view. And so today it's available. Uh, we've got a little discount going on for anybody who comes yes, down today. Yes, we do. It's normally sold at $59.99, but today mm -hmm. it's on special for $49.99. That's mm -hmm. for our 750 milliliter Guatai Legend. And our 18% alcohol by volume, which is our Guatai Premium Light, is $18.99. And that's 18% alcohol by volume. So this is a great, we have celebrations here. Uh, we're definitely celebrating on Friday. So yes. this would be a great celebration drink, wouldn't you say? In China, this is absolutely, it's a celebratory drink. It's mm -hmm. also the drink that's used to close business deals. So anytime people go out to eat with business partners, Baijiu is consumed. If you're at a graduation party or a birthday celebration, Baijiu is the drink of choice. And there's a whole culture that goes around drinking Baijiu in China. They pour it about a quarter of an ounce into a cup. And while they're out at dinner with friends, they continually toast one another. And the expression is ganbe, which means dry the glass. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, you know, to you and our friendship, ganbe, we'd all toss it back and eat for a few more minutes, and then you might toast me. And then we'll toast the next person. It goes around and around and around until everyone is sufficiently toasted. <laughs> and we take Metro home from here, that right? Oh, <laughs> or tech deck. Or your driver picture. You sound like you've been there before. I lived in China for a year and a half. Oh, so you had some exposure to it. Yes, sir. I remember quite vividly the first time I had baijiu because I tried a very, very cheap variety. It's kind of a, a trick that the foreign community likes to play on newcomers. Mm -hmm. When you come, you get some baijiu that's absolutely bottom of the barrel, mm -hmm. the cheapest cheap can be, and it's like drinking straight rubbing alcohol. And it was a memorable event. <laughs> you passed the test. I passed the test, and now I sell baijiu for a living. So. Oh, well, you must, have been, you must have been a major moment in your life then.
I really loved it. I think that the culture of China is something that's not very well known here in the States. By helping introduce Baijiu, I can bring a little bit of that culture to the I like it. I like the diplomacy behind all of it. So, cheers. Thank you so much. Thank what do they say, by the way? What's the word uh, for uh, oh, celebratory? It's gan bei, mm -hmm. which literally means dry the glass. So gan is dry and bei is glass. And so you throw it back and you dry the glass, get every last dry. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, she's really a great representative there. My best. Amazing. I feel like I want to go to China now, actually. You know, I definitely would love to go to China. Mm -hmm. <laughs>